Can't say we've opened every Celestial Storm product because we kind of forgot about the build and battle deck. Now, essentially we did technically open one because these are just the pre-release kits, but don't forget that they are releasing pre-release kits as just what they call build and battle decks. Um, just about anywhere really. GameStop and Barnes & Noble seem to be the ones that carry them mainly in stock. You don't really see them at Walmart or Target that much. So um, if you're looking for these things, again, go to either Barnes & Noble and or GameStop. They will most likely have this and they seem to be having like, uh, what is it, Ultra Prism and Forbidden Light in stock as well. Uh, also, while you're at GameStop, don't forget to pick up your shiny Poipo uh, video game codes. That's what these two things are here at the side. Um, the GameStop guy was nice enough to give me two. I don't know if that was actually supposed to happen or not, and I'm sorry <laughs> if uh, if I'm just saying in this video and, and, and I kind of ratted GameStop out, I'm sorry, but um, I think it's pretty cool. I mean, you guys get a lot of these codes anyway, uh, and I don't think a lot of people really know about these. So uh, if you're here in the US at the very least, uh, GameStop gives out these shiny Poipo codes uh, that are valid from September 17th and it ends on October 7th. So level 40, um, I got one for Ultra Sun and I got one for Ultra Moon. So hopefully I'll be able to transfer one over, level it up, and then get the shiny Naganadel, which would be pretty sweet. But anyway, while I was at GameStop, I did pick up the Build and Battle decks. Like I said, we've opened up every single Celestial Storm uh, product except for another one of these. So I figured why not go ahead and open up one of these. Uh, I don't haven't really done uh, pack openings uh, in quite a while. My last one was obviously the Dragon Majesty, which I put that video up, I think, sometime either Saturday night or Sunday morning. I can't remember when. But uh, yeah, I got to start doing more of these. I know. Uh, it's... I don't, I've been doing, I've been trying to catch up with the uh, set reviews, so uh, that's what's kind of been holding me back here a little bit. But anyway, here we go. So we already know kind of what this poster is. This is like little tips and tricks on building a pre-release deck during the pre-release event. And then we get the um, build and battle deck, I guess, the, just a, the evolution deck for it. And we get the Celestial Storm promo of Celestila, which is actually pretty sweet. I actually like the art to it. I never really paid too much attention to this art until now. Wow, that's actually pretty good. Okay. Um, this one's an interesting card because as long as your opponent has, or if there's a total of six prize cards between you and your opponent, this attack can do 160 for just one energy. Because a five is ridiculous, but if you can do it for just one energy, that is okay in my book. So yeah, this is pretty sweet. So Celestila, Master Royal, TV Reporter, Copycat, Tiber Royal, Mudkips. Ooh, we got the whole Swampert line, which is pretty good. Tate and Liza. Ooh, do we get a Metagross? Yeah, we get Metagross line as well. And then you guys are gonna have the code card for this build and battle box uh, for your viewing pleasure. So that's pretty sweet. I'm gonna put this off to the side right there. And here we go, four packs. Uh, again, I am so behind on collecting my full arts and rainbow rares, but it's okay, eventually I will catch up. Let's go ahead and start off with the Jirachi pack here. Jirachi pack art. Oh, come on, opening them the wrong way. All right, let's go with the code card. There you go. One, two, three, and four. Uh, no, that's the... See, it's been so long, I can't remember the, the card trick. All right, that should have been energy, which was fire, in case anyone was curious. Wingle, Meditate, C-Dot, Clam Pearl, Fampy, uh, Hustle Belt, Oricorio, Tropius, Reverse Slake Off, and a Manectric regular rare, which is a very good Manectric anyway, because you get to place it face down uh, on your active slot or on your bench if you have it in your opening hand, so you don't have to evolve it from the Electric. The Electric is just kind of like a, uh, you know, as a backup in case you need it. So uh, you can essentially go walk away with like what, four Manectrics, two Electrics? I don't know, something to that extent. But all right, let's open up our next pack with the Blaziken GX on the front. All right, and it seems like the code cards are facing you. Yeah, here we go. So here's the code card. There you go. I'll put this off to the side. One, two, three, and four. That should be the energy, which is Fairy, in case anyone's trying to guess the energy here. All right, here we go. C dot, Gulpin, C dot again, Beldum, Shuppet, Energy Recycle System, Marshtop, Sableye, Reverse Kecleon, and a Grumpig regular rare. All right, so nothing too fancy right now. 
which is not a huge deal. It's okay. We still got two more packs. I'm hoping for at least a regular GX of some kind, but we shall see. Stack Attack is up next. Now, what was it? We, we, did, we did the booster box opening. It was Stack Attacker that gave us the good pulls, wasn't it? Well, we'll see if that continues on. Here's the code card for this pack. Okay, one, two, three, and wait, one, two, three, and four. Energy, which is water. Nope, it's grass. All right, here we go. Let's see Stack Attacker bring us that luck. Bellsprout, Whalmer. What is going on with this Whalmer? Is that bigger than the Pokemon Center? Is, is that right? Jesus Christ, Whalmer's not that big. It's big, but not that big. Uh, Beldum, Spoink, Baltoy, Illumis, Pokenav, uh, Scyther, Reverse Lyra Ball, and a Stevens Resolve Holographic, um, which I'm surprised is not getting as much play as I thought it would. Uh, the if it's a turn one thing, like it's, it's extremely powerful, especially if you're playing the stage two deck, because you could get a uh, rare candy in your stage two by your second turn and you can straight evolve it as long as your opponent doesn't like shuffle your uh, hand away, which isn't a huge deal, because even if they do, that still like increases your chances of getting those cards again. Anyway, at least that's how I think of it. But yeah, all right, cool. I'm happy for that. Steven's Resolve all the way. That makes two that I have. I gotta. I think I'm gonna put three in the deck. I'm not sure. But if you're doing a uh, Metang deck or a Metagross deck, then you definitely want to have four of those guys because Metagross just lets you use Steven's Resolve like it's nothing. All right, here we go. Celestial Storm, last pack. Rayquaza, one, two, three, and four. Let's see what Rayquaza brings us. Hopefully something fantastic. Um, otherwise, I mean, we're good with the Stevens Resolve. Alolan Rattata, Slaykoff, Surskit, Slugma, Larvitar, Grovile, Lantern, Shellgun, uh, Reverse Dawnfan, and our rare is a Deoxys with the, oh, it's Defense Form. It is Deoxys uh, Defense Form. Okay, so unfortunately no ultra rare pulls but we did walk away with at least a steven's resolve holographic card which is not bad at all and then we did get the celesteel um celestila promo card uh in this build and battle deck so that's gonna be it for this pack opening i'm trying to think what i should open up next and i know there's a couple of walmart products that i have not opened that comes with like the figure and the two packs i've seen them I haven't coughed up the money for them yet, but I think that might be the next thing I do. But anyway, uh, thank you guys for sticking around. Please like, subscribe, comment. Uh, this whole week, I have either have been doing or will continue doing or will be doing uh, the Explosive Impact uh, set review for that. There's a lot of cards in that set. So that's going to be split up in like five or six videos. I haven't really figured that out yet. But anyway, it's going to be a, a whole week of Explosive Impact. So... Uh, stick around, guys. Let me know in the comment section uh, which of these two cards are your favorite and uh, exactly what other videos you guys want me to do. Uh, because, uh, you know, I, there's, between pack openings and analyzing cards, I really have not much else. Um, I haven't had time for much else. Deck profiles, I just don't have enough good cards. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get any really good pulls from the online code cards that I haven't been getting recently. So that's a bummer, but I'm still going to try to figure out what I need to do about that. But anyway, uh, yeah, let me down in the comment section what you guys want to see. And uh, I will see you all in the next video.